Aisha Dulong. I am a composer, performer, and sound designer based on the ancestral lands of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh nations, colonially known as Vancouver, British Columbia. And I am filming on Tsleil-Waututh lands, which is colonially known as Deep Cove, North Vancouver. So my practice is very process-based. I really just like getting my hands dirty, going out and recording sounds in my neighborhood, in other neighborhoods. I like manipulating those sounds, digging through my library and seeing what I can do with what I already have. I love to create. I love to see what I can, what kind of puzzle pieces I can come up with. And I'm never normally thinking of a final product or what I want to come out of anything I'm making. I just like seeing where all those different pieces can take me. So in, in so many words, I like to just focus on the climb to the unknown. And stylistically, I like to create sound worlds with juxtaposing material. I love bringing in gritty, harsh, like metallic kind of sounds into the same space as these ethereal, shiny, like sparkly, colorful, more light sounds. I love just rubbing those things up against each other, like pushing them as far as I can to see like what I can do. And I love how doing that kind of affects feel in my body and how I and how my mind wanders with that. I just love the way sound can like almost take control of where your mind's going or how your body's feeling or how it wants to move. I want people to experience that when they're listening to my music. And I also have synesthesia, which influences me stylistically. I, I use it as a compositional tool because sound and color have a very close relationship in my mind. So when I hear certain sounds, I perceive that as a certain color. So sometimes I'll create a painting in my head almost. I'll hear this sound, it'll be this color. And then another sound will be another color. And I see those two colors as working well together in my mind. So then I translate that into the way I choose those two sounds to go together, the same way the colors go together. That's a huge part of my practice and a big part of how I compose and how I string together ideas. I feel most connected to the audience um, just with the thought of how they're perceiving what I'm doing. I love the idea that every individual watching and taking in what I might be performing has their own view and own perception and I feel so connected to the audience when I think of that. I love that and I love hearing those thoughts like I just I always look forward to talking to people and knowing what they think and how they feel about what I just did or what they just heard because I'm giving them a piece of me, essentially, a piece of something that I've done, getting up in front of a crowd on a stage or wherever, I'm just, I'm putting myself out there, really. It's something that came from me and I love knowing what, what others are thinking about it and how they're perceiving it. And I just love feeling connected in that way. It almost feels like I'm collaborating with them while I'm up there. <laughs> 